morning everybody it's your old buddy Jim at East Tennessee Preparedness hadn't made a video in about a week decided I was going to unplug and tune out for a little while so I did but I'm still alive and kicking kind of go ahead and turn the water off for my drip hoses on my straw belts but I hope everybody had a good week good weekend uh, still had not heard anything about my new job so hopefully I took my physical last week so hopefully I'll hear something about that here soon but other than that I just been doing what I do you know gathering eggs I need to give some eggs away because I'm they're about to overwhelm me I might take some to my neighbors I head into work today but other than that there's Rosie Posey doing something probably she shouldn't be doing just mowed the grass Saturday. It looks like it needs it again. But we'll go look at the garden and the chickens. That's about all I can show you today. Hear that? It's time to get up. Get up. But uh, everybody already knows all the news. Uh, that pipeline, Colonial Pipeline being hacked. Uh, probably be gas shortages here soon. You know, it's a ripple effect. I heard it. Two refineries have shut down down in Texas because they can't pump their oil anywhere, so it's going to be like a like a big ripple effect. And these garden or beds here, where I guess the birds sold a seed, I did come back and replant some more. So hopefully they'll come up. But everything else is looking fairly good. So hopefully have a good crop this year. Hope you've got a garden out. I see little signs of life in my potatoes, so that's good. Jacob's watermelons are coming up. I guess where it stormed the other night, a bunch of junk has blown in here. What else has been going on in the world? I don't know. Uh, Israel's getting attacked by rockets again, pretty frequently, but they're used to that over there, unfortunately for them. And then Iran got 13 warning shots fired at them. It's a lot of warning shots, if you ask me, from uh, sending them little speedboats. Come on out of here, Rose. Crazy dog, I shouldn't have let her in. I forgot, I was talking to you guys, I forget she likes to run through the garden beds. Come on, Rosie. She doesn't listen real good. Come on. See if she'll come. Come on, Rose. Hyper. Something she grew out of her puppy stage. But looks like it's going to be a little while. I've got a, a son that's graduating kindergarten this year. I've got another son that's graduating from elementary school to middle school. So that's pretty good. They're excited. Kind of see them. Hate to see them split up, not going to the same schools next year because one can sort of look out for his little brother and he does pretty good at that. That dog. Watch her. Psycho. She's a nut. Must be Barney Fife's job. Dog, she's a nut. Other than that, my water totes are filled up again, so look out. I need to drain those totes. They think they're gonna get a treat, but they're not. They got treats yesterday. I need to pull some weeds and bring up here for them. They still lay pretty good, seven, eight eggs a day. Pretty good average. Other than that, uh, things are still going along. Uh, thinking about, uh, we'll talk about that another time. But, uh, I set up an email just for this uh, YouTube channel, and I get emails from my Patreon, you know, memberships. I'm subscribed to Bear Independent and Pastor Joe Fox at Viking Preparedness, and I get the notifications on, you know, when they put out new content on Patreon to that email address. But I've given it to a couple people to email me. They want to ask something, and for some reason, they have a hard time. You know, it's getting an email sent, so I don't understand it. That's technical stuff, and I have no clue. So if you have any trouble 
email and that account, I'll give you my personal email. We'll do it that way. And then I'll answer you using that email account, and we'll see if it'll work that way. It's kind of frustrating, but that's what life is. A lot of frustration sometimes. But I hope everybody's still preparing, getting ready. That cyber attack, if they can do that, who knows what else they could do if they chose to. You know, inf more infrastructure, power grid. So, grid should have been hardened years ago. So, I don't know if they'll ever get around to it. I'm too worried about uh, ridiculous stuff in Washington, in my opinion, instead of trying to fix what's wrong with the country. So, if I topped off my car yesterday, gas hadn't gone up here. But I'd say that's coming shortly. So if you got car, car or gas tank, you might want to go ahead and top it off. I watched a video this morning. I forget who it was. I watch so many sometimes. It might have been last night at work. I walk around at work with my head, earbuds in and listen to the videos. But somebody said on their way to work, I think they live in South Carolina. They passed nine gas stations on the way to work. Five of them didn't have gas. So I should have took those two jugs and got them filled up. But... I didn't feel like doing anything Sunday, and I don't have my pickup truck, so I don't want to stink nobody's car up. So, anyway, everybody have a great week. I'll put another video out here. It won't, I won't take another week off. And I'm still kind of hoarse and snotty from the sinus infection and allergies. I don't feel bad. I'm just tired of, tired of blowing hunks of snot out my nose. Refrigerator's open. Probably not good. Sure they're close. So that's it for now. I gotta see if I can get this crazy dog inside before she goes to one of the neighbor's house and starts barking at him. I'll find her here later. Everybody have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Peace Tennessee Preparedness. Adios for now.